Hey friends, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing awesome and I'm sharing a video today. It's part of the Hello Fall collaboration playlist, but it's also, I'm, I'm making two new signs from my front porch. I haven't changed out my front porch since like April before the uh, solar eclipse happened. If you didn't know, the solar eclipse happened. <laughs> if you didn't know it happened, it happened. But in where I live in Mesquite, we had four minutes and eight seconds of totality. That's a lot. That's a like a lot, a lot. Anyway, so um, I had changed out my front porch decor then and I haven't changed it since. So today is a much needed refresh for that. And I'm gonna show you how I made my little two little signs. And then I also made another sign to go on the front door. And I'm super excited about that. This is part of the Hello Fall collaboration playlist. It's hosted by my friends, Ellie from DIY From House to Home, Tammy from The Rusted Willow, and the guest host this month is another good friend of mine, Katie from Lady Red Crafting. Three of my favorite ladies. So I want you to check out their channels. It's gonna be in the description box below, as well as the playlist. This is always a good playlist, y'all. Lots of good inspo on this one. So be sure and check it out after you're done watching my video. So that's enough talking about it. Let's be about it and let's get crafting. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. I was first introduced to blob painting. Oh, by the way, I'm going to start off this video with a little watercolor magic. <laughs> so, I was first introduced to blob painting by Andrea Nelson with Andrea Nelson Art. And I'm just painting blobs, different colors. And now I'm taking some brown paint and I'm painting on stems. If you haven't guessed what they are so far, I'm trying to make pumpkins. Except that red one kind of looks like a tomato or maybe an apple. But it's going to be pumpkins and I'm painting on the little stem and then I'm taking some green paint and I am adding on some leaves and like little little squiggly lines too but mostly just adding a little bit a couple leaves onto each pumpkin shape and then I'm taking a little Payne's gray and I'm adding a shadow underneath each of the pumpkins and I was actually kind of proud of myself <laughs> Because I'm like, hey, that, that shadow looks kind of good. Although I didn't really have the light source the same on each one. But yeah, you know, hey, y'all, I'm learning and I'm practicing and I'm having fun. And then I take, this is my favorite part, I take a fine liner. I'm using a Micron pen and I'm going in and adding the details. I think this really makes the watercolor painting. I really do. And so I'm just adding lines to make it look more like a pumpkin and I'm outlining the stem, I'm outlining the leaves and kind of adding little squiggles here and there where I think it needs it. And that's it. This is so simple, so easy to do. It's really hard to even do a tutorial because it's like paint some blobs, add some stems and leaves, outline it, and then you're done. And then it turns out like this. See? Looks really pretty cute, right? I love it. And you could just like take one of these blob shapes and make a little, you know, fall card out of it or something. Lots of ideas that you could do with the same kind of blob shape. And I'll show you more in some future tutorials, but tutorial, I almost did, couldn't say that. Tutorials. But all right, let's get on to the next DIY. Y'all, I wanted to mention that I have a crafting group on Facebook. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget, and I run that with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY. I'm going to have a link to that in the description box below, and um, join it. And then and when you do, share what you're working on, and if, you, if you're not working on anything right now, then you can just leave a positive comment for somebody else. What I'm trying to do is create a positive and welcoming environment for other crafters and creatives to share about their creative journey. And I want to be able to cheer you on as well. So um, the link will be below. Be sure and join. Okay, that's it. Let's get back to the video. All right, I'm taking some Dollar Tree signs and I get three signs the same size and I use them to make a bigger sign for my front porch. And I'm just taking off all of the embellishments because I don't need any of them on there. And then I take a really, really wet rag. And this time, I the rag was way too wet. And I didn't think it could be way too wet, but it was. Because the boards ended up looking like this. Like the, the stuff, the paper didn't come off that well. And they just like stayed wet longer. 
But anyway, we made it work. And then you just take some paint sticks and you can get these from Lowe's in a pack of, I think, 12 for just a few dollars. And I'm just taking some wood glue that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm using those as a brace on the back. And because the ward wood had kind of warped a little bit, I was using those paint cans to hold everything down. And then I took some, this is actually Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color linen. I'm almost out of it, y'all. I've had it for years and it's probably like, probably not that great anymore, but I still have some, so I'm still using it. And I'm just painting the whole thing. I'm trying to give it a really good coat, but this type of wood, it's not real wood, it's like pressed board or something, it soaks up the paint. And so I just had to really make sure I gave it a really good coat. And then I took the other three boards, because I had six boards total, if I didn't say that, I did. I had six boards total, and so I took the other three boards that I had glued together the same with the paint sticks, and flipped them over once they were kind of set, and I'm painting this one with Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color Charcoal. I did design some decals with my Cricut, and because the signs are large, I have to do it on the longer mat, and I just press it down really good. I'm using, I think it's Oracle Vinyl. I don't like it as much. I bought um, some more vinyl from 143 Vinyl. Uh, um, anyway, so I took some paper transfer tape that I got from Expressions Vinyl. You can also get it on Amazon. I don't think Expressions Vinyl sells it in this size anymore, and I really like the six inch side because I think it's more versatile than a big 12 inch sheet that, you know, I would waste part of it. Anyway, so I put the paper transfer tape on there, and then I'm gonna flip this over. Flippy dippy, come on, flippy, there we go. And then I'm gonna peel back the backing here so that I can reveal the decal. You just gotta be careful to make sure nothing lifts up or anything like that. And then I'm gonna measure with my heart and place it in the center as best as I can. <laughs> and I'm gonna press it down really good. And you gotta be careful when you're lifting it up. I mean, just don't rip it up really fast. You take your time with it. And you may have to press down some of the letters. I don't go back and seal mine, but I know that some, that some people do. I just, um, I just wing it, basically. And this is how it turned out. I think it turned out really cute. I don't have it hung up right now because it's still hot in Texas and we're not quite ready for autumn yet. Summer ain't over for us. <laughs> we're still experiencing really hot weather. So um, I'm just showing you guys how it turned out and I'll put it on my front porch soon. Now remember I had two, two signs that I was working on. Um, three, and it's three boards each. So this is the, obviously the board that I paint, boards that I painted white. And I printed out another decal using my Cricut and I'm just um, revealing it. And I'm not centering this one. I'm kind of putting it down in the bottom right corner. I mean, not all the way in the corner, but kind of in the corner. And then I'm, look at me trying to save some of that transfer tape. Y'all, I try to reuse that transfer tape over as much as I can over and over because waste not, want not, right? Then I'm just taking my pencil and I am kind of tracing out or sketching out, I would say, where I want the tree limb to go. And then I'm taking a brown paint pen and I'm just drawing in the, the branch. There you go. And I'm darkening it up a bit, bit and making it a bit thicker so that you can kind of actually see it. And this, it's easy peasy. I mean, this is really not hard. You just draw like a crooked line. It, it, that's not, it's not hard, y'all, I promise. Then I'm taking a sponge dauber that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm mixing just some fall-ish colors. I have a maroon, I have a red, yellow, orange, and I'm using that sponge dauber and I'm making little, I guess kind of like, I don't know if they call them penny leaves or something, but I don't know if it's a real tree leaf. <laughs> but, um, I'm, I'm using it as a real tree leaf. I I was going to try to do like maple leaves or something like, or something like that, but y'all, I mean... I think this is turning out just fine and it looks cute just like this and it didn't have to get all fancy 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 pants on y'all this is how it turned out isn't that that's cute i mean if y'all say it ain't cute that's okay but i think it's cute and it's going on my house so that's what counts <laughs> but um i do think i love fall most of all it is really one of my favorite seasons i used to say i love spring but i really kind of love fall because it's got football state fair of texas all kinds of things anyways let me know what you think in the comments this last little sign is a cutie patootie. It's the back of a truck sign. And I've done one before. I've done one at like Halloween and stuff like that. 
and I just love how they turn out. So I'm making another one. And I usually put this on my front door and the other two signs that I made go, I have screen doors, vintage screen doors on my porch. And so I put one on each door anyway. Here we go. We're just going to paint that with their Stoliums Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color white. Linen. Well, it's a white color, but it's called linen. And, uh, you know, I'm not trying to be like super. I'm just trying to get the paint on. It's raw wood, so it, it is soaking it up a little bit too, but not too bad. And then I am taking, I see I started to paint it black. Y'all can see up there I started to paint it black, but I thought, no, that just looked too like dark. I don't know. Just... I wasn't really digging it and I didn't know what I thought maybe a light blue I don't know but you know I went back to my favorite color yellow from Waverly chalk paint it's the color maze I love that color I just think it's so pretty and I think it's neutral enough to go with like a fall theme it doesn't have to be super fall colors I guess but I kind of drew on sketched on some pumpkins and I used a little pumpkin wood piece that I got from Dollar Tree. It's kind of a guide for me. And I put two pumpkins down, as you see me painting here. But then I put one in between those two pumpkins. I don't know if you can see my sketch or not. But I put one in between those two pumpkins. And I put it up a little bit higher. And I used a different color orange. Now, can you really tell that it's a different color orange? Not really. But, you know, I, I was like trying. <laughs> I was thinking to myself... This is going to be like so different. Three different colors. It's not three different colors. It's like two different colors. And you can't even hardly tell. But it's okay. Then I'm taking um, black paint. It's just black. I don't even know if it's chalk paint or not. But anyway, it's black paint. Painting on the tires. And this, see, this is easy. You just paint on the tires. And you might be asking me, like, Lisa, where do I get the truck shape? Well, I can try to trace one out and, like, put it on my website or something. But... Um, I basically just kind of sketched it out looking at another picture. And then I'm taking some Parisian gray and I'm using that for the bumper. Is that the bumper? Yeah, that's the, that's called the bumper, right? I don't know. I'm not really good at knowing car parts, but it doesn't really matter. I am now taking a brown paint pen and I'm kind of sketching or painting in the stem for each of these pumpkins. Then I'm taking a green paint pen and I'm adding the leaves. And I like to add that little squiggly line. I don't really know. I, I mean, I've been to pumpkin patches, but do they all have squiggly lines? Who knows? Then I'm taking the white paint pen. I'm making little tread marks. I only put two rows there. I'll go back later and add some more. I'm taking a black paint pen and outlining everything. I like to outline stuff, y'all. I think it makes it look cute. I think it makes it look finished out. And you can kind of get away with stuff if it's not perfect. You can kind of just outline it and say, it's illustrative. You know what I mean? Like you can kind of fake it till you make it or something. But I'm outlining the entire thing um, just with this black paint pen. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's really not hard at all, y'all. I, I wish it was harder than I could say. It's like, took me so long. It did take me a bit to do this, but you know, it's really not hard. Anybody could do it. That's the little tailgate there. And I'm going back with a white paint pen to add some highlights to the piece. Just randomly where I kind of think highlights should go. I don't necessarily go by like, oh, the light source is to the right. I just add highlights. I just think they look cute. And then I'm writing howdy here. And then I'm going over with the black paint pen again to kind of thicken it up just a little bit. See, it's pretty easy. And I didn't show this or maybe I cut it out, but I put a little license plate down there and I put fall. And then I'm taking my round sponge uh, brush thing and making two circles for the... Um, tail lights and as you can see they're not even even see see but it looks cute you know what I'm saying <laughs> and I just outline those and I add a little white highlight add a little white highlight to the the license plate that says fall darken things up a bit and just kind of going and adding in touches where I think like you know what it needs a little bit more oomph in it you know that's all I'm doing and that's all you have to do and then I go back in and I do add some more um, lines to the tires like tread marks and that's how it turns out this isn't this cute, y'all? Now, sometimes I use cardboard to kind of make it more 3D or kind of like stand out a little bit more. But this time it's just plain wood and I just painted it. And I, I literally just traced the pumpkins on. So that wasn't hard at all, y'all. So it's something that you can do at home. And if you try it, let me know. And if you want me to do a pattern, let me know too in the comments. And I'll try to see a way to get a pattern uploaded so that you guys can make one too. 
I can't thank you enough for joining me in my studio today. Really do appreciate the company while I craft and create. And I hope you enjoyed the projects. You'll be seeing them on my front porch soon. Just not yet. It's it's still, I mean, it's still July, okay? And it's still really hot <laughs> here in Texas. So I'm not really sure when I'm going to switch it out, but it'll be soon because I'm kind of ready for a porch refresh. And I think if I um, put those signs out there, then fall will come, you know? Um, but then we have... We have the state fair coming up in September and I volunteer a ton at that. The, the fan ceiling fan is like making my hair blow. Anyways, I volunteer at the state fair of Texas a lot and that starts in September. It lasts three weeks, so last through October. So that's always a ton of fun. I'll probably do some videos about that too. But anyway, that's not, that's that I'm getting off topic. <laughs> I'm getting off talking. Okay. Anyway, thank y'all so much for joining me. If you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on TikTok or Instagram or Facebook, my handle is Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. <laughs> Bye y'all.